things we do here, as our name implies, is streets. We do have a, a huge footprint of what we do. We don't just work on streets, but we also look at the curb and gutters. I uh, would look at the sidewalks that go through the city of Jacksonville as well. So also that's incorporated with all that is our drainage system that hooks into the streets as well through the curb and gutter through the catch basins. The stormwater structures go into a catch basin on the street, which is connected to culverts that lead out to ditches or out to the bay. So basically what we're trying to do is mitigate any type of flooding throughout the city from taking the stormwater that comes down from the road out to the bay to ensure that there's no flooding throughout the city of Jacksonville. This one runs from the box to right here at the end of the ditch, um, into the ditch, which is 130 feet that we replaced. We took out all the old pipe and put in a new HDPE pipe because the old one was metal and it had rusted out. The whole bottom was gone. So it caused dips in their yard, cabins. So we replaced all that. And now we're just doing the um, end treatment and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and put some salt in. Within the city of Jacksonville stormwater collection system, you have a lot of moving parts. Culverts are, of course, one important component, but a second being our storm drains and our catch basins. Keeping that collection system clear of debris, meaning all of the moving parts, is very important. Keeping debris from blocking the culvert not only keeps our waterway clean, but more importantly, it keeps it from flooding. So things that we can ask of the residents to help us with is in the streets, if you see any kind of grass clippings, tree debris, any, any trash that's near your house, in your culvert, if you can help us with that and uh, clean that up when you see it, or if you have an issue that you're saying that your culvert could be clogged up, give us a call.